clean. It's good to have this thing kind of bulge a little bit. I'm going to take some of the pencil off. You can have it bulge a little bit. See, it's not perfectly straight up and down. I'm going to be careful here. This got a little too close. Do some butts in with it. And again, it might need some cleaning here and there. Let's get that the door kind of smooth just a little bit. Because then what I want to do for detail, just a little quick detail with the door. <laughs> Let me clean this a little bit here first. <laughs> it's like I did it with this window here. So I just want to get just want to get some little wood around this window. No, I don't think it's going to be perfect enough. You can probably have a smaller chisel. I think I should have a smaller chisel, but it still comes out a little bit. <laughs> then one thing I want to do is the bottom half of the door. And I'm going to make a take my chisel, make a square. Where am I? That's what I did was I made a square. Not perfect, but see that. And then I'm gonna put an X in there. <laughs> now again, there's a lot of little cleaning up little chips and stuff, but uh, yeah, that's what we got so far. Now I'm gonna clean the rest. Like I said, I don't want to waste your time here. You can just clean it yourself. I'll be right back. Okay, now got that all done. Now what I want to do is I want to make some uh, wood panels. So now I'm just going to whimsically put some stripes up. Nice sharp one here. That's going to be kind of difficult getting your smaller V tool. Smaller V is right here. Let's see, I got those just put here, here. Come back and kind of clean it a little bit. Now, can I get in there? Yes, I can. I did put one there. If I put one there, then I need to put this one here. And then put one across here. I'm going to put one right here. It'd be kind of whimsical that I put one different. Then we're going to go up here here. Let's do one right here. And there's two. Okay, now we want to go horizontal. Let's do some horizontal pieces here. Horizontal here. Let's, like I said, all different places will make it all horizontal. You know, where boards come together. I think I like might have this better. No, I guess not. Okay, now there's the panels. I don't know if you can see it. It comes out better when you uh, put your... Uh, Oh, you know what? I forgot to put the panels on that one. Well, all right, he's stuck all then. There you go. I'm going to take a sharp pointy, pointy tool of like a compass or I got my little div divider here and I'm going to put little holes just to indent here. Indent here. Two on top, two on the bottom for nail marks. 
I want to be careful on the edge. Oh, I didn't want to do that. That's one thing about these cut knives or cut gloves. They may cut. They may help you prevent you from getting cut. But boy, I'll tell you, they don't prevent you from getting poked. And then I'll put some nail marks even in some spots that don't have it. I don't know if you can see all this. See if I can get up there. There's a spot there. I'll go in there. And I'll put some put set here. Okay, be careful on this end. You know what? I still feel it in that, that finger there. We got all right. That's good. And then now I clean this out here, and you might want to take your compass or nail or what do you want to kind of give it kind of a rough edge. Okay, house roof is done. Um, now let's get going on the. Going on the staircase here. I'm going to take. A, I got a stronger V tool. I'll just start in the middle here, and I want to turn my chisel so it's. I mean, it's still, it's not a full 90 degree angle, but it's enough to get it started. Is uh, trying to get it like this. So yep. Turn your chisel. Can you see that? See how mark, the marks it makes. And uh, twist that chisel. <sighs> okay. Take my knife and now square it up. Flat. I'll do the flat part first. Flat part. That was dumb. Horizontal, the horizontal part. That didn't turn out too good up here. Well, the chisel is what gets you started. I didn't have the angle too sharp, is I think the problem. <sighs> and then I want to cut in here like this, make this little round so you could see just a little bit. See how round it gets like that? Happy with how this thing turned out right here. <sighs> Guess I gotta clean it a little bit. This thing did not turn out very well here. Okay, I'm going to clean all these
chisel marks on the side. Now I'm going to do something a little different here. We're going to make, I'm going to do rocks instead of bricks on this here. Now again, this is going to be, with, you can use your pencil. It's going to be whimsical again. But I just like to just uh, dig in with my chisel and just start making circles. So make with this one here. This one's going to be a big one. This one's going to be a bigger one here. It goes outside. I guess Here. You take your pencil and mark some, or just a little. But when we get into the detail in this one, all that's going to be a little more realistic. Okay. See, just like that, just getting it started, just whacking at it like that, just. Now I take my knife and start doing some uh, chip carving. Around the corners, or where the yeah, where the cut marks hit the other rock. See how it's starting to shape? Let's cut here. And into a weird rock. I'll look on this side make sure I don't push too like I did with the with my divider there. And again we don't have to make it too perfect around and of course if it is too round we're gonna un Unperfect it. Depends on how much details you want to put into it. See, it's starting to look good. It look like rocks. Each little chip out. Making each rock unique from the other. <sighs> See how it's starting to shape? See how this is going to look. Make sure we got enough bark so we're not going to go through and hurt ourselves. Okay, now let's take tools, any kind of tool we want to do, let's just take a chisel, just kind of, kind of do something here, wiggle here, there we go, 